friends welcome back to my channel techno education academy today i will give you brief idea about working principle of nuclear reactor its basic component and its function first of all nuclear reactor it will work on nuclear reaction okay thermal power plant it will work on rankin cycle wireless gas turbine power plant it will work on brayton cycle and nuclear power plant it will work on nuclear reaction so first of all what is fission reaction so in a fission reaction when any unstable nucleus it is bombarded with high energy neutrons so at that time it will be split into two fraction and it will release the energy and uh, this energy it is utilized to increase the temperature of water and increase the temperature of gas so the basic difference in case of a nuclear power plant and thermal power plant the combustion process is different in case of a thermal power plant the heat will be released due to the combustion of fuel while as in case of a nuclear reactor the heat will be released due to fission reaction the remaining component are same so today in this video lecture we will discuss the basic component of nuclear reactor what is the function of fuel control rod reflector moderator biological shield the nuclear fuels are generally used in nuclear reactors are uranium and plutonium the fuel is shaped and located in the nuclear reactor in such a way that the heat release in the nuclear reactor it will remain uniform the fuel element in the nuclear reactor are designed in such a way that we are considering the parameter of heat transfer uh, corrosion resistance and structural strength of the nuclear reactor the fuel rods are cleaved with zirconium aluminum or stainless steel to prevent the oxidation of the uranium the next component is moderator what is the function of moderator function of the moderator is to reduce the velocity of fast neutrons into slow neutrons so the function of the moderator is to increase the probability of the nuclear fission reaction the slowing down of neutrons is effectively done by the light element like as h2 d2 n2 o2 carbon and beryllium the graphite heavy water or beryllium can be used as moderator with natural uranium the ordinary water is used as moderator only with the enriched uranium the next component is reflector here you can see that this pink color line okay it is a reflector what is the function of reflector to reduce the loss of escaping neutrons the inner surface is surrounded by a material which reflect the escaping neutrons back into the core this material is called reflector the required properties of a good reflectors are low absorption and uh, high reflection for neutrons high resistance to oxidation and uh, irradiation as well as high radiation stability these are the property of reflectors many times the material used as moderator is also used as a reflector because the moderating materials have good reflecting characteristics the h2o d2o and carbon are also used as a reflector with using the good reflector the amount of consumption of uh, the fissionable material requirement can be reduced the next one is coolant the main purpose of the coolant in the reactor is to transfer the heat produced inside the reactor some of the desirable properties of a good coolants are it must not absorb the neutrons uh, it must have high chemical and radiation stability it must be non corrosive the melting point of coolant is high if liquid is used as a coolant and low melting point if it is solid it must be non oxidizing and non toxic and the last property for the coolant it must also have high density low viscosity high conductivity and high specific heat these properties are essential for better heat transfer and low pumping power or we can say low power consumption water heavy water helium and carbon dioxide gas sodium metal in liquid form and organic liquid are used as coolant 
we have already discussed in a nuclear reactant there is a fission reaction it will be take place so in a fission reaction the large amount of heat it will be released so for that purpose here the cooling is also required the next one is control road some controls are necessary in nuclear reactors like as to start the nuclear chain reaction when the reactor is started from cold the next one is chain reaction should be maintained at steady state condition at the required level to shut down the reactor automatically under emergency condition so at that time the pump circulating the coolant through the reactor and it will fails a rod plate or tube containing a material such as hafnium boron cadmium etc used to control the power of a nuclear reactor by absorbing neutrons a control rod prevents the neutrons from causing further fission the action of the control rods can be very well compared with the action of the bloating paper which absorbs extra ink without spreading the next one is shielding so here you can see that this is the biological shield provided in nuclear reactor the common radiation from the reactors are alpha rays beta rays gamma rays and fast neutrons which are very harmful to the human life to prevent the effect of this radiation on human life it is necessary to absorb them before emitting to the atmosphere neutrons gamma rays and all other radiations are effectively absorbed by the concrete and steel the inner lining of the reactor core is uh, made of 50 to 60 cm thick steel plate and it is further covered by concrete layer by circulating the water the thermal shield temperature is maintained the next one is reactor vessel the reactor vessel encloses the reactor core reflector and shield it also provide the entrance and exit passage for directing the flow of coolant the reactor vessel has to withstand the pressure as high as 200 bar or above the holes at the top of the vessels are provided to insert the control rods the reactor cores or we can say fuel and moderator assembly is uh, generally placed at the bottom of the vessel